This is by the dude that y'all told to skip the other day, Hamza. So we'll see if this one's better. We often insult Jeffrey at the start of these videos, but Jeffrey is a young man who has fallen victim to the modern addictions, modern technology, social media, hyper-stimulating porn and video games. Is it Jeffrey's fault that he's down bad? It's so easy for us to make fun of him, but he's fighting an uphill battle. Jeffrey checks his phone and there's notifications in a certain shade of red that are so enticing that he just can't help but to click on- See, I, don't already, I already don't get this guy because like dude we've watched him one time and all he talks about is how like social media is so bad and no one should ever use it but like he does social media yeah social media is so bad no one should ever do it all this other shit yet he literally posts on social media it's falling victim to the social media platforms that use this endless scroll like this death scroll Four technology chan. hours and hours and hours every single day every week every month every year up until Jeffrey's left so depressed empty nihilistic unaccomplished and then Jeffrey kills himself this isn't a meme Jeffrey's a guy from your high school picture your high school class right now you had maybe a main class then you had a class for like maths and science and stuff and picture the guys in your class see their faces within a few years at least one of those faces that you've just seen in your mind will kill themselves you hear th what the fuck Bro, I've had people. I've in the last like two years, I've known like four people that were like uh between 18 and 22 that I knew that killed themselves. They didn't kill themselves because of social media, because they were a fucking nerd or some shit. They killed themselves because they were depressed for other reasons. What crack shit are you on? This statement, and it doesn't, you know, it, it's scary to it's it's dark to hear this, and you maybe you'll see it one day where people are posting about what is this anime green screen you got going on behind you. Social media, but you never really take the time to visualize the last moments of a man who literally kills himself because of the modern technology has made him so I don't I out of everyone see I can't tell like I'm not gonna predict I I out of everyone that I've known in the last two years that have killed themselves I I can't tell you exactly because I wasn't there when they were killing themselves but I would go out on a limb here and say none of them killed themselves because of social media almost all of them were because of other reasons so you saying that people are just killing themselves more because of social media I mean it is an issue and it can contributes to depression and anxiety, but people aren't killing themselves over their their large consumption of TikTok. Like that's not that's not a thing. Depressed. He's crying, he's fighting negative thoughts. He's already been thinking about it for a while and then he decides to take action. Constant, overwhelming, relentless negative thoughts. Bad mental health because of these platforms. I don't he doesn't think it's because be of those platforms. Way. He doesn't want to be weak. But the modern world, this technology, it's <sighs> It's extremely, extreme. I will say people, people do like when people, if people like kill themselves and they blame it on that, like social media is an aspect, but it's not a full blown thing. Like I've, I've known people that have been overtly depressed because of League of Legends. Do you know anyone that's been like depressed over a video game? I know people that have been depressed over a video, like genuinely depressed over their League of Legends rank or something like that. Like I, like I can't go on. I, I'm, I'm hard stuck gold. There's no meaning. I've been playing the game for five years. Like, buddy, quit the game. Extremely strong. It is incredibly hard to overcome the addictions that are caused by things like modern social media. The People are saying boring vid L, but this dude has the same vibe as Tate. And if I watched Tate, everyone would be like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Amazing video. I mean, oh, Tate, oh, Tate. But the second I put on this guy, it's just, it's just, oh no, boring L, L. All those things like that, that shade of red notification, they've optimized that those nerds in like Silicon Valley have optimized that because they know that that spikes something inside of your brain to make you click on it. They understand yeah. like it's on What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? Almost like a gambling machine where they understand that if they show you a good post, a post that they know that you'll like, followed by six posts that are going to be kind of boring and you know just mild, and then another post that you like that gives you dopamine, followed by three posts. It's different every time. You don't know when the next hit of dopamine is going to come and it's so exciting, it's so addictive. Buddy, you're, it's not, it's not, it's not that addictive, pal. You're acting like, you're acting like I'm getting a fucking drug trip when I see a funny video on fucking TikTok. Looks. Imagine those people who like just spent all day like cranking the, the gambling machines. They don't know when the next big hit, the, the reward is gonna- Gambling is very addictive, but gambling is addictive in a completely different way and much more addictive than social media. This. They specifically 
create technology like this, knowing that it fucks up your mental health, knowing that it leads to people killing themselves, and they do it with a smile on their face because these nerds who work at like Facebook get paid 500k a year for being- Their goal isn't- <laughs> The people that work at Facebook trying to get more clicks, they're not making the app addictive so people kill themselves. They're making the app addictive so they can pump ad rev and make more money. It's their job. They're not- they're not- they don't want people to die. Like, what? Being the death of society. When you think about the most powerful person, the most powerful people of society, you might think of, like, Donald Trump, like, the president, wouldn't you? Maybe you'd think of, no. like, some big, strong-looking guy. But it's not. No. It's a nerd with, like, a tucked-in shirt. Forward neck posture. No, hunched no it's not a nerd either. The strongest, the, the the most powerful people in the world are people that own, like, the, the stock world. The the leader of BlackRock, Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos. Those guys are the, the leaders of the world. Over shoulders. I'm telling you right now, th this is going to sound weird. Nerds, Silicon Valley nerds are more powerful than any president of any country they control who is the president how, how do people get picked for like presidency how do people like vote through the infamous that's not their fault if you really want to advocate if you really want to say that nerds at silicon valley are picking the president because of propaganda that they push on facebook you should be blaming the american people for being fucking stupid and falling for that shit rather than the Silicon Valley shit. Same thing with a pyramid scheme. You can blame Andrew Tate. I I, I don't like Andrew Tate that much, bro, because he's a scam artist. But at the end of the day, if you're falling for a fucking pyramid scheme, Information that they get and information is controlled again by these like Silicon Valley nerds. The people in Silicon Valley, these tech like nerds control who gets to be president by the control of information. They control what fuck- I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say this guy doesn't like nerds. Are you a liberal? I'm a social democrat. Uh, but I have friends all over the political spectrum. Stop your mental health. What news goes viral and what news doesn't? And the biggest thing that they want, why these, like, guys, these little nerds are employed into these big companies like Facebook. Retention. There's one main reason why these people are employed. It's for retention, to retain you, to keep you on the platform for longer and longer and longer. Imagine, these guys are very, very smart. These are like extremely smart like geeks they're being employed paid hundreds of thousands of dollars per year and their sole mission is to make the platform more addictive then wow really everyone knows that everyone knows that imagine if this company has hundreds of these employees the best smartest minds and these like these nerds bro they're optimizing shit they're literally taking like nootropics you know like brain altering like pills and all like they they do some fuck, fucked up shit to like improve their performance their cognitive ability <laughs> Did he just say they're taking brain altering drugs to make them smarter to to like manipulate the American people more? Just say they're taking Adderall. They're on Adderall. They work they work 16 hour days. Yeah, they work a lot. Ability to write better code to come up with more ideas. All of these guys are like microdosing and everything. That is what we're up against. Microdosing what? Shrooms? What are they microdosing? Oh, you wanted to like take a step back from porn or video games or social media. Bro, you, you are ping ponging all over the place, man. But just one young man going against hundreds, if not thousands, of these software developers, these data analysts. They they, they know everything. I just made a video which is gonna go live like today. It's Monday the 18th. You can go find out my. And you have them to thank that your video is doing well. And you have them to thank that you just made a thousand dollars, not a thousand, two hundred thousand views. You have them to think that you made $800 on this fucking video. You're bitching and complaining that they're fucking stupid and oh, oh, the nerds are bad people. They're the reason you're on social media. They're the reason you're successful. They're the reason you're doing well because they push your shit channel is just literally titled delete instagram now and i, I was telling you the story of like what's made me delete my instagram which i got fucking pissed right i spent an hour on the platform when i didn't mean to i literally meant to just go onto it to send a single message and i ended up scrolling for over an hour and a half seeing like 50 different girl profiles and like oh my god this girl's got big titties and she's not that far away so like my, my evolutionary brain is getting excited but then the next pr profile that i click on is like a big muscular guy so it's like oh fuck that's really scary like, think about what's up <laughs> what the fuck are you <laughs> What are you talking about, bro? That's your Instagram feed on who you're following. Dude, what that is doing to your psychological, like, space. Dude, he's and then I said in this video that the way I expressed my frustration for when that happened, you know, I spent too long on Instagram, was by grabbing my phone, going on to my Instagram stories and recording myself, like, being frustrated. I was frustrated at Instagram, and I went on Instagram to vent my frustration. I said that, I sat there for a second, and I literally looked at the camera and said, oh, fuck, they have us by the ball. 
skills. You don't realize how addicted you are and the people are around you. Hopefully you're one of the very few people who've made some good progress here. And if you have, if right now you're watching this and you've made some pretty good progress, reducing your social media time, reducing how much you watch porn or play video games. Right now, you know, yeah, it, it's nice. You you know, you're, you're acknowledging it, fair enough. But like, you don't realize. Oh my God. It's just like contradictive. Like people that go on social media to tell you to get off social media. Like I understand you're trying to spread a message, but like at the end of the day, you're trying to get more views to spread your message that you shouldn't get views. What you've just done. You have just done something that should be impossible. If you have made progress to reduce your social media use, that literally means you are winning against these thousands of nerds. Their total pay is in the hundreds of millions per company, if not more. You versus thousands of nerds who are microdosing, who are on nootropics, who are, who are like literally employed just to make sure you stay addicted to the platform. If you've made any progress at all, bro, holy shit, you're a fucking legend. And if you have- Okay, then what am I supposed to do instead? Instead, okay. Say, say you delete every social media. I want to know what am I gonna call? Am I gonna individually call every single one of my friends? I'm gonna individually call them. Am I gonna iMessage every single person I've ever known? Hey, haven't seen you in seven years. Haven't seen you. Haven't seen you in a while. What's going on? Haven't. If right now you still feel like you are in the depths of like social media addiction, porn addiction, video game addiction, it's all. I just think it's a controlling of usage. I like. I. I don't think it's necessarily like. Oh, you should delete all social media entirely. Like some social medias, I. I will deem as useless. Like I think Facebook is fucking stupid. But like any other social media, like you just have to use it within reason. You know what I mean? The same. When I talk about these like Silicon Valley nerds for like Facebook, it's also the same nerds who are designing like Pornhub. It's also the same nerds who are designing like video games. It's all the same kind of technology. All of these nerds have been hired literally for the one cause of retention. Make people stay here for longer. If you haven't made great progress just yet and you find yourself, okay, you are still in the depths of this addiction. It's not your fault. It is perhaps one of the hardest like modern day rites of passage that you could ever come across is taking a step back. I just want you to see the life that is waiting for you. On a practical sense, if you cut out this cancer from your life- I will say, I will say people do overuse social media to a, to a degree. But like, if that's what they want to do, that's what they want to do. You know what I mean? Like, I think he's trying to say if you stopped using social media as much, you would have more time to do things that you would enjoy. I feel like he just words shit so badly. Like, it, it, you're right. Lower your social media time slightly. You have more time to do shit that you, that could, like, expand your knowledge. You could go see things, go do things. But, like, if you want to, you're, you're bored one day at home scrolling on fucking TikTok or YouTube or whatever, that's not bad. The three big things. Social media, video games, and porn. On a practical sense, you will save probably more than 10 hours per week. That's realistic, isn't it? It's, it's probably more than that. That 10 hours is literally how you, as a young, ambitious man, are able to build your kid. But it's fun. Like, I understand what he's saying. Oh, if you don't spend as much time on video games and all this other shit, you can fucking uh, go around and get a job and work at fucking Walmart and make more money and be more successful earlier in life. You're right. But at the end of the day, you're living life to enjoy life. If I'm living life to just fucking sit there, work 80 hours a week, and not have fun at all, never play, never play video games with my friends, never see what's going on with them, never watch YouTube, never watch Twitch, never watch a fucking anime, never watch Netflix, uh, Hulu, whatever. Oh, I'm using social media too much. Uh, life sucks. It's boring at that point. Be financially free and have freedom and success and confidence. It comes from being in control of your time. When you have time, you can then go invest that into things like learning, getting therapy, spending time in nature, sleeping more, all of these things which are so good for you. And then when you start putting that time, when you're like a healthy person and you put that time then into a business, a career, your studies. You get that success that you've always wanted. You feel more confident and you're making money and you can give money to your family. I was part of success in business is the use of social media though. You're fucking the majority of businesses use social media to promote to promote their own business. Social media, if social media didn't exist, all businesses in general would be much less successful. Like you just contradict yourself. Like, it's just like, yeah, oh, go start a business, go be successful. What do you need to have a successful business? Social media. Able to make any progress in life and feel productive in life at age 22. Guess what I did? I cut it all off at the same time. Social media, video games, and porn at the same time, May 2020. I cut it all off. And that was literally the start so of he's like the 24. New chapter of my life. And I became very successful after that because I saved all this time. Now my mental power, like my mental focus isn't going to like these girls just showing ass on Instagram. 
finally I'm harnessing it for myself and I'm thinking, okay, let's put in some fucking work for myself for once. Let's gather my attention, my focus into my own things that will actually develop my life rather than consume- Let me attention, my focus, and my own things. Let me put all my mind into YouTube, which is a social media. I quit it all at once and I put my mind and then you put it, you went back to YouTube. Your excuses seem valid. Shut the fuck up. Oh, I can't delete Instagram and Snapchat because there's someone to message. Shut the fuck up. Don't you fucking say that to yourself. Don't you sell yourself short. Don't you like advertise for these nerds. Oh, but I, th there's messages. Shut the fuck up. If there was important- Is this man like a giga Chad? Messages for you to reply to on Facebook, Instagram, whatever, bro. You'd have each other's phone numbers. If they don't have your like phone- Like he num hates nerds. I feel like he's using like nerd as an insult. I really don't think nerd's an insult anymore. If you don't have theirs, if you don't text each other, it wasn't ever that important. It's not you talking. This is so, so fucking interesting. When you argue for something that you know is is so totally bad for you. Social media, video games, and porn. When you argue for it, that isn't even you thinking. That's the addiction. It's the same way the heroin oh addicts say, like, oh, God. no, but it, it's good for me. I can't stop fucking weed smokers every day. Like, oh, no, but it, it, it makes me... Oh, he's against weed, too. But it makes me creative, and I, it's not even that bad. <laughs> video game as well, but it, it's a video game ideas, and I might be an esports... Shut the fuck up. Yeah, I might be an esports player. It's the same way fat people talk about, like, unhealthy food. That is the addiction talking. Become aware of it. Become aware when you have a thought that is not in your best interest and realize that is like the jeffrey part of your brain that's trying to keep you weak this may be some of the weirdest most specific like like weirdest fucking advice you've ever heard before a lot of the times you can't trust your own brain a lot of the times your brain will push you like your entire body will crave things that aren't good for you you know this you will get cravings for things that aren't good for you porn video games Dude, he's getting so mad junk food drugs you'll get cravings for them you will have you get cravings for things that breed happiness um whether it's artificial or natural so yes you can have an addiction to social media if it brings you dopamine but you could have an addiction to basketball when people when you make a basket in basketball you get dopamine in your brain you could have an addiction to that i mean like you're just saying like if if you're you're saying if it's an addiction it's wrong are manipulated by the modern addictions these nerds are being paid a very good price to manipulate your brain and to make you feel like you need to stay onto the platform because otherwise you're going to miss out and you're going to be lonely but i need to be on there to message people that is in your brain talking it's the message that's been implanted by these fucking nerds who want to make you feel like you're gonna miss out fomo fear of missing out that's literally what they've implanted into your brain if fomo fomo works with literally anything disregarding social media fomo is a thing that has existed even before social media when your friends ask if you want to hang out and you kind of don't want to but then at the end of the day you're like oh if i ha if i don't hang out with them then i'm gonna miss out on fun that's fomo doesn't even involve social media there was an important conversation if there was an important person that you valued, you would have each other's phone number and you would text each other, you would call, or you would send messages on like WhatsApp. If they don't have your phone number, if you don't have theirs, that conversation was never important. 77,000 followers is what I'm giving up by not- Your bio is cult leader. Using Instagram anymore. That's a good level of fucking cult. I want you to imagine, right? Imagine you had 77,000 followers on Instagram. Imagine you go meet a new person and you exchange Instagram. Imagine you go speak to a girl and she's kind of nice and she's kind of vibing you and you exchange Instagrams and she sees that number seven seven k now she likes you now she's more interested you meet another guy and he sees oh my god you got if a girl liked me because of my follow like if brooke liked me because of my following count i would have never dated her like you should like someone because of their personality if you're using your follower count to flex on women to get them to be attracted to you i hate to be the bearer of bad news they're not women you should want to be with in the first place if a girl likes you for the sole reason of you having you have a big following that's fucking weird that's not you shouldn't be appealing you shouldn't you shouldn't uh, appeal like you shouldn't only appeal to them because of that Move your mental health and perhaps one of the single most important things that we all need to talk about is stopping social media video games porn you'll get to live and then you'll be so saddened when you look around and you see everyone else consumed staring into their fucking phones like jeffrey's and you'll try and save as many people as possible and you'll realize why i'm making i do think people sit on their phone too much i do think people use their phone too much the biggest example is a concert when people film videos at concerts i think that's idiotic the real alpha males are no longer like those big steroid tough guys the guys in power the guys who are in charge are these skinny neck forward neck hunched over posture nerds and they know what they're doing they know that they're taking away your family from you they Dude, know he hates that nerds. they're taking away your friends from you they know that the girl that you're gonna date in the future they know that they're making her addicted to the validation that she can get from other guys on this platform and that's what's gonna ruin your relationship your like romantic relationship the single most important thing of your life like the, the girl you might have had 
a family with and they've fucked her mental health and they know it they know what they're doing and now so do you so any excuse that pops into your mind now that i've got to use it to message my family and like whatever fucking excuse bro they've planted that fucking message in there social media uh, is like not is he saying social media like i message is he saying like i message is bad if he's saying i message like a text is bad for you that's fucking absurd cancer porn is a cancer video games are cancer quitting all three is a rite of passage for men but make sure you follow me on instagram oh, fuck off <laughs> this video has got you feeling he said lincoln desk kind of just kidding i want to see i want to see bro lincoln desk just kidding as he actually wasn't kidding and there is a link to his discord server social skills master class how to meditate oh does, is this a pyramid scheme is this literally another andrew tate did these things cost money oh my god it costs money oh wait no it's a skillshare class what about his discord server is his discord server free it's free way doesn't it you don't often feel like this when you're watching YouTube videos, do you? This is not just a normal YouTube video. This is not just a normal YouTube channel. This is a cult, literally a cult. I am your cult leader, Hamza, and our vision- Why are you, why are you like gladly promoting that you're a cult leader? Like that's not something you should be proud of. Like what, why are you saying that? I'm a, I, this is a cult, I'm your leader. A cult, a cult of young men who are taking a step back from modern addictions, social media, video games, porn, even more drugs junk food, cult of young men who want to become more masculine, but who want to be around to live that life with improved mental health. A cult of young men who are literally gratitude journaling and not jacking off watching porn anymore and meditating, going out to the gym, building a body that we're like proud of. And we Okay, then you're just saying it's a cult and it's not a cult because you're just promoting base values. Stop saying you run a cult then. I feel like you don't realize what you're saying when you say you run a cult. It's confidence and happiness, bringing our brothers up. This is a cult. That might sound weird to hear because no one else has ever, ever had the confidence to tell you, but joining us might just No, be... it's not the confidence. It's the grasp of what a actual cult is. One of the best decisions you ever make in your life. It might say your life as it has for thousands of men in my cult. Hamza, I'm 42 and I wish someone like you yourself to guide me when I was a teen and in my 20s. Being from a single mother household, I literally didn't know how to be a man growing up. It has taken me 10 to 15 years to deprogram myself. Your content is not just helpful to young guys, but also older guys like myself. Peace, brother. Bro, I grew up in a I, I grew up in a household with only women. It doesn't matter. It literally doesn't matter. You can still have a father figure. You can still have a father figure regardless of whether or not your dad's in the picture. The future, the vision that I want you to see into your mind right now. See yourself in third person right now. Like this is, I know this is weird, but like close your eyes, really see yourself in third person. And just see yourself finally doing those right habits. Almost like flashes of you just being fucking productive, running around, like lifting weights, looking fucking sick. You can still do that on social media. Max Taylor lifts, David Laid, any lifting, Bradley Martin, any lifting YouTuber, successful, they lift every day they compete ifbb pros they use social media like what it, like it, you have it, it, every point you have has a counterpoint sick looking like stylish as fuck you've been improving yourself you're doing like weird habits like meditating and journaling all that shit that you knew like you've been told so many times that you should do that stuff that you should prioritize your sleep bro just prior just say just say just promote the things that you're saying the things that he's promoting aren't bad but like you're saying you can't do them if you have social media which is just wrong that you shouldn't be watching porn or video games like you've, you've taken a step back from that you've raised your slunken head away from your computer screen and you're out the video games thing now that's that's where i'm gonna disagree i think video games are perfectly fine they're like navigating like penetrating through the world a confident smile on your face finally the life that you've wanted to live and that's just that's literally the short term that's the life you will live weeks from now weeks from now you can have that life close your eyes once more and now see this in the long term see years fly by years of you living a life like this and you see the people around you just living like that unideal bad habit and it's so different to the way that you've been living and the law of the compound effect starts really hitting and your life is so so different after implementing and staying wouldn't it be funny if behind this screen screen, he has like a PS5 and like a flat screen TV or something? Like he's sitting in a green screen right now, but like what if that shit just like fell down and he has like a PC desk and like a whole gaming setup? Inconsistent in all of these good- <laughs>
My DX Razor! Habits. You're a lot older and more mature and like you look built and successful and productive. Your mental health is so fucking good whilst other people that you know have literally killed themselves. And then, years from now, you meet her and she has been on the same journey as you. And you have children and you're the kind of father- You're shaping your followers' personalities. Like that, let them live their own- Like he's literally saying to envision yourself doing exactly what he's saying and then meet someone that matches the personality that he's shaping you to have. Okay, maybe you are a cult leader. <laughs> You really respect who have been on the same pathway. You teach your Pearl son the these things, and he lives a life just like you. Through your son's eyes, imagine what he sees when it's time for him to go to school. He's, let's say he's a teenager, he's in high school. Imagine how dark and deep the addictions of his generation will be. How different your son will be because of you and the actions that you take today. If there's yeah, and he's going to get bullied. Your son would get bullied. 20 years down the line, you make your son, you give your son a Nokia 20 years from now. 20 years from now, you give your son a Nokia. He's in like fucking class. Oh, do you have social media? We're going, we're going to play Xbox tomorrow. Oh, sorry. My dad makes me sleep on a wooden board with a Nokia. And then never watch me ever again. Please make it this. Prioritize your mental health above everything else. And things that reduce your mental health, particularly social media, video games, and porn, must be eliminated. It's up to you. You've gotten the message. This is the message you've been waiting for. You've gotten like the kick up your butt to say, yep, time to take action. Are you gonna take action right now? Answer, literally say out loud, no. yes or no. no. Are you gonna take this step in the no. right direction? No. And really sit here and contemplate how much these companies, these nerds have you by the balls and say, you know what? That is unacceptable. I'm gonna take a big step back from this shit. I'm not watching porn anymore. More. That shit's disgusting. I'm not playing video games. I don't have time for that shit. Social media, bro. I don't even need it. I'm gonna be that that no almost like Fortnite. mysterious no guy. Fortnite, turn it off. All right, now we're done with that shit. He's literally just gonna ramble about the same thing again. I'm done with that, dude. He actually might be a cult leader. That is actually kind of crazy.